This is Akia Eggleston. She disappeared back in 2017, right before her baby shower. And now the man who police found responsible has been sentenced for her murder. Alex Glaze has been following this case. And I know, Alex, you were in the courtroom today when the judge handed down the sentence. Uh, tell us what you saw. Well, Denise, as you can imagine, this has been a long six years for Akia Eccleson's family. But the family members that I spoke to today say that they do believe that justice was served. Now, the state was asking the court to sentence Michael Robertson to two consecutive life sentences, the maximum sentence allowed by state law instead of two concurrent sentences as they sought justice for both Akia Eccleson and her unborn son. Michael Robertson, found guilty in July of two counts of first-degree murder, was sentenced on Wednesday to two consecutive life sentences, the maximum sentence allowed by law. Family members of Akia Eccleson tell WJZ they believe justice was served. Mr. Robertson will spend hopefully the rest of his natural born life in a concrete box where he will never have the freedoms again that have been afforded to so many people. The judge said what happened to Akia Eggleston and her unborn son was the most horrific act. Eggleston went missing in May of 2017, right before her baby shower. The 22-year-old was eight months pregnant at the time, and her remains were never found. Prosecutors built their case against Robertson with circumstantial evidence. They said Robertson was the last person to see Eggleston alive, and he searched dumpster and trash collection schedules after she went missing. In court, Akia's aunt, Zenobia, described how she gets phone calls at all hours of the day from people any time a body is found. Zenobia says she waits for the medical examiner's office to open just to see if Akia has been found. It's hard to deal with the fact that we can't bury her. We can't find her body. And Michael Robertson chose not to speak much today in court, but Akia's aunt Zenobia told me that she wishes that Robertson would finally admit to the crimes that he has been found guilty of, but that did not happen today. In downtown Baltimore, outside of Circuit Court, Alex Glaze, WJZ.